The Geneseo Maple Leafs will tell you themselves that there's been some sour spots along the way on their journey to the Sweet 16. They'd like to sweeten things even more with a win over the Morton Potters. How sweet would that be? It would send the Geneseo to the Elite Eight for the first time in school history. This FCA Game of the Week is sponsored by Friends of FCA. A gorgeous day in Metamora, and it's the Potters jumping in front in the first inning. With two on, Pat King launches this big fly over the center field fence, and it's quickly 3-0 Morton. Geneseo starter Jacob Pauly settling in, putting out some potential trouble in the second with the inning-ending strikeout. But Morton's Ryan Altenberger is tough as nails as well as he keeps the Leafs' bats silent. Geneseo bends but does not break. With two on in the fourth, Dylan Pardo is flawless on the 6-3 putout as the Leafs look to get busy at the plate. And here come the cardiac kids as they've been throughout the postseason. In the fifth, it's Pauly helping his own cause with a single to chase home Braden Robinson and Tyler Thompson. It's just 3-2 and they're not done. Bases loaded. Future Bradley Brave, Keaton Rice draws the walk. Marshall Rice trots home with the tying run. Bags juiced again, a wild pitch, and it's Pauly dashing home as Geneseo takes the lead. Back comes Morton. Tucker Anderson shoots a single to right. It takes a goofy hop and goes all the way to the wall. Trevor Davis scores to tie the game up. Anderson motors in to third base. He's not there long. Logan Peterson singles to left to plate Anderson. Morton leads again. Five to four. Geneseo's been down this road before, though. In the bottom of the sixth, Marshall Rice delivers a single to send in Robinson. Again, the game is tied. It's 5 5. Crunch time, seventh inning. Morton loads the bases. Sophomore Jaron Brooker preserves the tie with the strikeout. Bottom of the seventh in this epic battle. Potential winning run at third for Geneseo, but Morton forces extra as the fly ball to left is hauled in. In the eighth inning, base is loaded again for Morton, and it's Davis coming up with the single to score Peterson. They also get another on a run scoring wild pitch. 7 5 Potters. Does Geneseo have more magic in the bottom of the eighth? Two outs with a man aboard. Pauly at the plate. The strikeout, but the ball gets away. He's safe at first, and Geneseo is alive with the potential winning run at the plate. But it's not to be this time for the Maple Leafs. Their season ends with a 7 5 loss in extra innings in the Sweet 16. As always, a tough pill to swallow at the moment, but tons to cherish for the 25 and 11 Maple Leafs. We knew there was a little bit of life left and we tried to take advantage of it. You know, proud of these guys for doing what they've done this year and it's it's been a good ride. Mm -hmm. When you fall behind early, I mean, how does that change the complexion of the game? Or at this point in the season, does it not, you know, knowing what you know? Well, we've been down the past few games and we've come back from it, so I don't think we hung our heads too much. You know, we came out there and we got it back to even and then couldn't hold on. Well, and to be able to do it at this level, you know, in a Sweet 16 game when you know the other side is so good, too, I mean, that speaks to the confidence and the ability of what you guys have. This is a special group of guys, you know. It's probably one of my favorite teams. I'm going to miss them a lot. Tell me, too, where this fits in. You know, you've uh, obviously baseball is such a big part. It's a part of your routine of every day, I guess, too. And, you know, what are some of the life lessons you take on? And, uh, I mean, you get to keep on playing. You know, is there some things that are absolutely going to st stay with you? Uh, don't take every day for granted. You know, you got to work for everything you get. You know, it's hard. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to deal with this kind of stuff. There's such a natural thing that happens when it's a team relationships too, and when when you've done it for so many years. I mean, how uh, how 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 much do you value those relationships right now as you kind of step away? Uh, it's it's going to be weird to go into another team without Marshall or Jordan or Trey. And you know, I'm just I'm going to have to deal with it and hope I stay in touch with these guys. Mm -hmm. How great is it where this program is right now too? Just the, the, the consistency they've, they've had in recent years. Yeah, we've been to a sectional three years in a row, so I think this program's definitely heading up on the hill. So, you know, just keep grinding. Coach, you've done a great job and hope they can continue that. Mm -hmm. We've been doing that all year, just battling back from adversity and we, we just kept with it. How much uh, urgency was there? I think it was uh, the fifth inning when you guys uh, started to get the bats going, I guess, too, because, I mean, they were sharp. I mean, their pitcher was sharp. Yeah, uh, he's a solid pitcher. We, we realized that we had uh, 
score runs, even if they had runs on the board or not, we've got to score runs to win the game. So we just did our best. Mm -hmm. What's this mean to you? You know, the, not only just the whole experience, but the tournament run you guys put together too. You know, I mean, I mean, you guys struggled a little bit down the stretch regular season. Here, here you were, you're the one of the last Quad City teams standing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great feeling, but we wanted that sectional championship really bad. And we want to make school history, but things don't always go the way you want it, but. We had, a good, we had a great season. Mm -hmm. How did this experience help form where you are now as you move on, I guess, to some of the great lessons? Uh, it's definitely going to help us in life. Just always battle back when you're down and keep getting up. And how uh, fulfilling is it that, uh, you know, you leave this program in such good shape? It's been amazing what's been happening here in uh, the recent years. Yeah, I mean, uh, our program is definitely on the, on the up. and. We have great coaching staff and just great teammates. So, mm -hmm. what do you tell the guys that are back? You know, I mean, just uh, the, uh, I guess the privilege of wearing the, that G and wearing the green. I guess. I yeah, just go out, go on the field, and take pride in what you do. I'm so proud of the guys. I mean, we're always fighting every game. I mean, we're we're so close as a family. We're just fighting for each other, and it was awesome today. What brought that extra gear? I guess too, because their pitcher was uh, really doing a great job the first four yeah. innings or so. Yeah, I mean, we just. You know, we first time through the lineup, we kind of, you know, saw what he had. And then second time through, we kind of picked up on it. And then third time through, we figured it out and we jumped on him. So mm -hmm. you get the lead and, uh, you know, they, they, they found it yeah. too, I guess, too. I mean, how much fun was it to be in a game like this where both teams want it so bad? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit nerve wracking, but I mean, both teams battling back and forth. I mean, it's just, it's just a good game, good mm -hmm. game. Tell me what uh, this whole experience means to you, just, just wearing the uniform. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, this is, this prepares me for life. I mean. All the guys fighting for each other, it's just, it prepares us for life. Mm -hmm. What do you tell the guys that are coming back to about the, uh, uh, just the privilege of, of, of playing for this team? Yeah, you know? Come back and get the sectional title next year. That's, that's what we're fighting for. The defensive stand, we had the inning before with the bases loaded. I thought that uh, when we shut them down, that kind of gave us a little momentum. And then we had the little bloop fall in for the double. And, and all we needed is just that little kickstart to hopefully get us going. And, and uh, it did. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that too, and what it was like in the dugout, given the fact that you've uh, you've experienced that so much in the in the postseason too. Yeah, that's just it. You know, the guys uh, they were just kind of waiting. We were talking about, hey, just to need that little uh, kickstart and uh, you know hit here or there, and we'll get the momentum going, and 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 they believed that we could come back, and and we did, and uh, we had a chance to win her there. Even a, a drop third strike sets you up for, for more potential, like, oh, man, just uh, one more piece of drama. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I thought we had it in the seventh inning. Uh, you know, that's baseball. The ball's just a little bit more to the to the right of the third baseman. Hey, we score that winning run, and the game's over. So, oh, well. What were some of the charms of this team, especially the seniors, as you, as you say goodbye now? Uh, they, you know what? They're, they're a special group. Uh, they just they didn't quit all year. Uh, you know, obviously the last uh, three games, you know, we battled back. You know, uh, we tried to tell them that uh, not only did they learn hopefully stuff uh, uh, in this season, not just for baseball, but for life in general. You know, battle back from adversity. You know, don't give up. And uh, if you have challenges before you, you know, hey, don't let it get the better of you. Mm -hmm. How enriching is it for you, you know, to know where the where this program is right now? That it's it's come through hard work and relationships and uh, uh, having each other's backs. Too. Yeah, you know, the the last uh, several years have been really special. Uh, we've had some really good ball players come through. Uh, you know, that's that's uh, that's a recipe for success when you have good ball players. So hopefully that continues.